Thanks for inviting us in. It's 11 o'clock and tonight the state fire marshal is calling the number of fatal fires this year tragic. 20 people have died in house fires here in Indiana so far. The most recent victim, 61 year old Teresa Murray. She died at home on Irvington Avenue near Community Hospital East. A dog had to be put down after suffering injuries in that fire. Tonight at 11, our Rachel Krause explains why this spike in deaths has fire officials concerned tonight and offers tips to keep your family safe. It's tragic of how bad January has been this year. Just five weeks into the new year, already 20 people have died from fires. That number unusually high. It's really abnormal. It's, it's tragic the amount of fire fatalities we've had already this year. Um, last year we had 71 total. We're already at 20 this year. State Fire Marshal Steve Jones says he doesn't believe the state has ever seen a deadly trend quite like this. And it is concerning because as much as we preach smoke alarms, it's like, why are we still having the tragic events? And rather than cutting down on our numbers, they have gone up. A number of those fatal fires happened here in Indianapolis in January, including a fatal apartment fire that claimed the lives of a father, a three year old and a 15 month old infant injuring two others. And early Tuesday morning, an Indianapolis woman and her dog died after being pulled from a fire at a home just off North Irvington Avenue. And a big part of this deadly problem, Jones says, is preventable. Most of them, uh, it looks like they didn't have any working smoke alarms in the home. And so we're very concerned about that. Jones spends weekend after weekend piecing together what happened at the scenes of these fatal fires. It's heartbreaking to witness. I can't tell you. <laughs> um, it's, it's difficult for the families that they'll never get over it. The community of having your neighbor go on. The first responders, I'm very concerned about them because it's not, they don't have an easy job. But to stop or at least slow down this deadly trend, Joan says it's simple. Check your smoke alarm every month. Practice fire drills with your family so they know what to do. Sleep with your doors shut to prevent a fire or stop smoke from spreading. And if you don't have a smoke alarm or need help putting it up, reach out. Smoke alarms is an easy thing for our people to do is bring a ladder inside of your house and help you put that smoke alarm up, knowing that that's one house we won't have to worry about. So you mentioned that people should reach out. What is the best thing that people can do if they do need help? Well, if you don't have a smoke alarm, you can contact your local fire department. Yeah. And if you can't get up on a ladder to put one up, the fire marshal says you can reach out to local crews. They're happy to help. Right. And if you can't afford a smoke alarm, you can contact your local fire department or the fire marshal's office. He says they want to make sure that they can help people to stay safe. That's certainly what we all want to see happen. Rachel, thanks so much.